retired NFL star turned successful TV host Michael Strawn lives in New York City these days to be close to the Good Morning America studio. Fans have been able to catch a glimpse at his Upper West Side home thanks to Instagram, whether he's showing off his modern kitchen or lounging in the living room with his kids in what appears to be a townhouse. Aside from this, Michael has lived in a few luxury properties over the years, including another Manhattan loft and a massive mansion in Los Angeles, which spans over 15,000 square feet of space. After retiring from the NFL, Michael Strawn has found quite the success as a TV personality. The former athlete not only was a football analyst on Fox, but he continued on to host Live with Kelly and Michael from 2012 to 2016 and currently hosts on Good Morning America. With his entertainment career, Michael has to live close to work and reportedly loves his home in the Upper West Side of Manhattan. Not only does he like the warmth and family-friendly atmosphere of the luxury townhome, he's also hinted in the past that he has a backyard, which is rare for New York City. However, with an impressive net worth of about $65 million, you already know that Michael's properties will be only the best. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, this time checking out the homes of Michael Strawn. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Before we check out Michael's New York homes, let's take a look at one of his former properties on the West Coast. Located in the upscale neighborhood of Brentwood in Los Angeles, reports claim that Michael sold this mansion for a whopping $21.5 million in 2015, much more than the $16 million he paid for it a couple of years prior. The beautiful home sat on an acre of land and it was a neo-colonial style mansion protected by double gates and high hedges, backing onto a thick forest of trees and a Creek. Details show that Michael's former residence offered 15,600 square feet of space with 9 beds and 14 baths throughout all of which was recently renovated. The large mansion also had three floors which could be accessed via elevator and luxury details from a wine cellar with drinking lounge to a 59 foot pool and much more. The entry hall was cavernous with soaring ceilings and it was attached to the also large formal living room, both boasting 20 foot wood ceilings, black chandeliers and dark oak floors. Michael seems like a man of class and the cigar friendly library along with the prohibition style wine cellar with drinking lounge in the home sound like quite the classy rooms to match. The library was also wood paneled and offered a flat screen TV on top of a fireplace while other main floor spaces included a formal dining room and den with entertainment center. We can't forget the main attraction here either, which was an open plan great room made up of a family room with fireplace, casual eating area and all white kitchen with top-notch appliances. Two of the guest bedrooms with en-suites were located on the ground floor of Michael's mansion, while the rest were located upstairs. Also upstairs was the impressive master retreat located in its own wing with sitting room, fireplace fitted bedroom, terrace, as well as double walk-in closets and en-suites. The basement of the mansion was fully finished with two more bedrooms, a lounge area, and other bonuses like a games room. And if that's not enough, there's a 20 seat home movie theater with 15 foot screen, a gym, sauna, and a steam room, and the wine cellar which I previously mentioned. Since this mansion is celeb approved, it's not surprising there's also a cedar line storage room with separate walk-in safe for valuables down here as well. Outside, a heated wraparound porch accommodates the mansion's exterior and leads to the backyard. Here, there are stone terraces, a 59 foot long pool and spa, and an open pavilion with pool bath, outdoor fireplace, wet bar, and outdoor kitchen and grill. Okay, with all of those luxury features Michael's former mansion was packing in, you have to bet it was hard to downsize to Manhattan sized living from that. Michael's current New York City apartment wasn't his first rodeo there either. Just before owning that mega Brentwood mansion we just looked at, the former athlete was selling his loft in the Tribeca neighborhood in 2014. While he sold this New York apartment for $2.3 million, he originally purchased the two-bedroom, two-bathroom place in 2008 for $1.66 million. Michael had plans to refresh and upgrade the nearly 2,000 square foot abode, but he never got around to it in the end. Looking at the polished hardwood floors and an all-white bathroom, the place didn't look like it needed a renovation anyways. There were whitewashed 
brick walls to bring out the pre-war vibes of the loft while still looking modern and the entire unit was super open plan with soaring ceilings overhead. There were a few living areas or lounges along with a spacious kitchen with bar style seats and cherry wood cabinets. Michael's one time loft was trendy and cozy at the same time but he didn't call the place home for too long before trying to sell it. As for where Michael lives now, we know he mainly calls the Upper West Side area of Manhattan home, a neighborhood which he loves. He said, I like the Upper West Side because being a father, I like the family feel to it. You see mothers with strollers, people walking their dogs. One thing I love about the neighborhood, when you go into places, it's not like, Michael, I'm another person who's just there. So I guess he just likes feeling normal. While this neighborhood is often thought to be small apartments with zero outdoor space, Michael is lucky to have plenty of space in his townhouse and even a charming backyard. The father of four shares the crib with his dog Enzo and his kids split their time between both of their parents' homes. Michael has given fans a peek at his home in the heart of New York City thanks to Instagram, especially his kitchen and main living areas. His living room is spacious with floor to ceiling windows overlooking the garden and a mostly grey toned color scheme. The open plan space boasts a large couch, a flat screen TV and artwork on the walls. There are other plush furnishings here too including a velvet armchair and more. This living room is separated from the kitchen by the white island and there are also French doors leading out to a terrace. Since Michael loves to cook, we often get to see the modern and airy kitchen in the background. This space has off-white cupboards, white marble worktops, and a modern glass light fixture. It even comes equipped with a large range and other designer appliances. This is where Michael loves to spend time when he's not working, and it seems his twin daughter Sophia and Isabella love to cook alongside him too. In one Instagram video, Michael actually showed his daughter giving a tutorial on how to make barbecue chicken, while the family likes to put their grill outside to use as well. In the summer, they shared photos grilling meats and vegetables outside in their yard. Yes, unlike most New Yorkers, Michael is lucky enough to have his own mini backyard or outdoors, a small terraced area surrounded by a fence for privacy and some hedges. In the past, he said, I have a little backyard, open the doors, sit out there and have breakfast or just let the sunlight and the warmth come in. Michael also often shares photos of himself lounging at his cozy and welcoming home with his cute dog Enzo. He has even shown off Enzo chilling out at the home gym, which looks spacious enough and set up with enough equipment and machine for Michael to stay in great shape. Despite all the nice features at Michael's New York City home, you might wonder where he stores the rest of his thing. It turns out that he has a separate space across the Hudson River for some of his vehicles and other toys, stating, I have a warehouse in Hackensack, New Jersey where I keep my cars and it's the only place where I store memorabilia. I don't like having that stuff in the house feels like I'm living in the past when you've got to keep moving forward. Well, whatever works for him. Alright, so now we've taken a look at the homes of Michael Strawn from lavish mansions in Los Angeles to his current cozy Manhattan townhome. Where would you rather live, New York City or Los Angeles? It's such a tough choice, but if you love Manhattan, you just have to be okay with the small spaces. It's crazy there. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Michael's homes in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram and tell me which celebrity homes we should feature next. I'll see you all in the next video, bye!